Unfortunately, given the whole coronavirus pandemic, people have had to switch to birthday parades to fulfill happiness and joy during such a great time. So that is what we will do for today for our king, our savior, Matthew Barry. by Tucker and Jody, senior pitcher at Brazier High School. Tucker, what's your favorite Matt Barry moment? Uh, there's, a lot, there's a lot to choose from, but uh, one time in elementary school, Matt Barry actually choked on a grape, believe it or not, at one time. That was hilarious. Uh, I'd have to say on the football field, uh, talking talking crazy, uh, non-football stuff sometimes in the middle of the game. It's always a good time to play next to Matt. Senior TikTok star Darren Bain and Darren, what is your favorite Matt Berry moment? Uh, just the countless years of being on uh, Mr. Berry's DYD team. Matt Berry had it all dedication, hard work, he was just a man. <laughs> advice for the rest of the school that wants to be like Matt Barry. Uh, have an IQ of two. You gotta grow. I mean, I think I should take some pointers from him. He's seven feet tall. They're gonna, they're gonna blow our cover. He's gonna hear it over there. If you just are on the football field and you're in student council, you're basically him. It's in grew a couple of feet. Uh, if I work at a landscaping company, <laughs> and uh, if I said really funny jokes that aren't funny. Awesome birthday parades. <laughs> uh, they're, uh, they're fun. They're fun. I didn't expect this to happen. Actually. And to the person that wants to be the next Matt Barry, the next staple of their class, what is your advice to them? Um, always be yourself. Put in hard work no matter what you're doing. Have fun. I mean, happy belated birthday, Matt. I wish yeah. I could made it to the parade, you know? Yeah, I don't know why we weren't invited, but I mean, next birthday, next uh, pandemic birthday, we'll be there. Yeah, sure. exactly. Honking our horns, driving back. Bridget, how have you been quarantined? I mean, I I'm just chilling. What about you? <laughs> I've been doing good. Uh, I grew a mustache in the beginning of quarantine. I shaved yeah. it off. Why are you um, shaving it? I shaved it, yeah. Uh, I turned into a new man, but you know. <laughs> It was like a one week thing, and then you're like, no, I'm done. I'm well, done. no, I had it for a month, but. Oh my God, wow. I looked good. I looked good. <laughs> uh, are you excited for this senior episode? I am so excited. I wish it was a little different, but I mean, we're doing the best we can. <laughs> yeah, we are. It's going to be fun. We got uh, some fun senior memories. We got a song dedicated to the class 2020. We've got future plans, and, you know, let's just have some fun right now, okay? really don't don't need that so you know normally we decorate our cars but you know we can't get to Michael's you know we can't we can't get to Party City so that's blue. that's blue not pink so going to the high school people let's go over the last four years and I mean it would just it would mean the world to me if if you would sign my yearbook you know it's fine we weren't that close anyway and you can't forget about prom now that
that I'm in my prom dress, you know. Let's set the mood for prom. <laughs> and now, you know, gonna Photoshop my boyfriend, just, okay, perfect, love it. I love a, I love a good virtual prom. You know, seniors, at the end of the day, it's all okay. It's okay that we don't get a graduation, a prom, or any of the fun senior activities. You know why? This is okay. Because we have a lawn sign that we get to put on our grass. Get ready with me, Senior Assassin Edition. So first, a tip. It's very um, crucial that you look camouflaged so that no one can see you if you're sneaking around. So let's add this on, like this. This is gonna help big time. Don't think that's all we're doing though. Oh, and I, ha I have more. I have more, don't doubt me. All right, we work with what we have here. So we have a brown, um, it's a lipstick, but again, we work with what we have here. And you just wanna do some, you know, make yourself nature. And did you seriously think I was gonna go supporting the Red Sox right now? No. Boom. Camo and green, great choice. A lot of people go with all black. But no, 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 you want to blend in with those bushes. You want to scratch down and make it look like you are nature. And seniors, don't forget, masks, very important. Not only for everyone's safety, but it helps a lot. You can't even tell this is me. All right, so once you're ready, you have your camo, everything, even extra camo in case you need, but don't take this mask off. And you have everything camo and you're ready. There's one thing left to do. I think this one's pretty self-explanatory too. But make sure before you leave that your guns are full of water because that is a rookie mistake and you won't get anyone out. For the sake of this video, we're gonna pretend that I'm going outside practicing shooting my water guns. But unfortunately, the guy who's out to get me is circling my house right now. So we're just gonna pretend and let's just pretend it happened. And that's all you need to know, so. Be safe, wear your mask, wear camo, always. And just have fun, it's a game. Reporting for WOM TV, this is Kaylee Walsh. Seemed like you had a really fun senior week at home. It was so fun. I mean, I bet yours was great too. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like yours, except with all the fun stuff. It was me uh, standing in the mirror crying, saying I peaked in high school, but you know, go I mean, WOM either way. I did that too, so it's fine. That just wasn't on camera. <laughs> washed up, washed up. We're going to pass it off to Aiden Daly. He's hosting a senior roundtable with some of the class 2020. Let's go. Hello and welcome to the senior discussion. I have the pleasure of being with Sid, Justin, and Darren. How are we guys? Good. Pretty good. I am fantastic. Great to hear. Great to hear. So class of 2020 didn't go out the way we wanted to. But, I mean, besides the ending, how was your senior year? I really, I really enjoyed it. There were some tough moments especially like 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 the tests and stuff but overall it was really enjoyable going to lunch joking around having fun in class and stuff like that i really liked it, especially senior study we got to leave early but only for like a month but still senior study was a lot of fun we just goofed around and played games so that was pretty enjoyable justin i loved the senior year as sad as it was for it to come to an abrupt end i seriously thought Hands down, senior year was my favorite year with all the friends that I've made, with, you know, all the different stuff that I was able to do, like as Sid said, leave early. It just overall was the perfect year. Couldn't agree more. Darren? Um, even though we didn't get like those last, that like last month of like where all the seniors do all the fun stuff and there's not a lot of work, I still feel senior year was the best year of my high school just because like, I don't know, the teachers were pretty lenient more than like all the other years because like you've already applied to college they don't really like you still have to learn stuff but it's not like as bad and like i feel like you get to hang out a lot more with your friends and like the lunches are better so yeah i'd say senior year was probably the best year of high school i mean yeah i agree i thought it was definitely it's like a farewell almost because i mean you're kind of going moving on to the next stage of your life but i know i know you guys don't want to hear this or even revisit it because it might bring back some sad memories 
Do you remember your last day of high school? Sid, I want to hear it. I, I actually don't remember much about it other than I went in there, had lunch, came out, didn't, then the, later that day, I found out school was closed for the day, and then, boom, this whole fiasco happened. So, didn't know that was the last time I'd ever walk out of BHS. So, it was pretty, that was the only sad part. Justin? I do remember it a little bit. I went to go visit Miss Ellis, and I said to her, do you think that they're really going to cancel school? And she said, no. And so, sure enough, I remember, because it was a Thursday, they said that they canceled school Friday, and then they were going to cancel, like, the next two weeks, and then they were going to cancel lit for, like, the whole entire month. But I vaguely remember that day, but I do definitely remember Miss Ellis telling me, no, that's stupid. So you do remember a part of it? There yeah, you go. A tiny bit, but not a lot much. <laughs> Darren? Uh, the only part I remember is I was in public speaking, and we spent the whole class talking about if school was going to be canceled or not. And we kept asking Mr. Wigan, like, all these questions about what his opinions were and, like, what he thought. And he said, I don't think it's going to be canceled, but there is a possibility. Um, he said, like, for, like, a couple weeks it would be, but he didn't think it would be canceled for the whole year. I don't think any of us thought it would be canceled for the whole year. Um, but yeah, I remember that class and I, I'm pretty sure I drove Justin home that day. Uh, last time I drove home. Uh, you probably did. For high school, yeah. So it was sad walking out and now not knowing that I won't have any more classes there or anything, but you know. Yeah, I can agree. I mean, it was definitely sad and mine came a little earlier than you guys because we went, obviously, Wall TV went to DC, but oh, it was, yeah. it was more hectic over there. It was definitely a crazy time, but uh, definitely won't forget that either. So let's look at the good stuff, the positives. That's what you got to do during these times. What was your favorite memory of senior year? Sid, let's hear it. That's a really tough one. I didn't really have any good memories senior year, but <laughs> overall it was fun. My favorite memory did come freshman year, but that's, that's not, that's not the question. What was, your, what was your favorite memory this year, Sid? If you had to pick one. First thing that comes to your head. It could be a collection. Me roasting um, them. What? Hang on. I'm trying to think. All right, Ju- let's... Sid, we'll pass. Go to Justin, and then we'll come back here. <laughs> so, I remember. I think it was the day before the final day of school. So, they had the dodgeball tournament thing. And so, my group, the Ellies, who were... The sickest team, even though we went like one and three, I totally had so much fun just screaming my lungs off and just being all sorts of goofy and whatnot. There's videos out there somewhere. I think my mom has them. And it's just me just being all outrageous and whatnot, playing uh, dodgeball. And it was totally a good time and for sure my favorite memory senior year. That's funny. Darren? Uh, I have two. One of them is pretty much almost every lunch that we had with Sid, we got him so rattled that he would leave the cafeteria for five minutes and then come back all heated. Um, so those are pretty fun. And Surprised then, Sid didn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I actually do have a somewhat favorite memory. Well, let's, yeah, well no, let's there. hear Sid's. I want to hear Sid's. Me? All right, all right, go. All right. Um, walking around, like leaving the cafeteria and not coming back, just walking around the hall. <laughs> And I had to go back to the um, <laughs> cafeteria, but it was long. Before. That was, was good. That was good. Darren, what was, what else were you saying? Um, sometimes during senior study, Sid knows this. Uh, uh, there's like a group of like eight or nine of us that would like play card games, like the whole study, and it was it was just a lot of fun. One of them was uh, uh, exploding kittens. I don't know. If Never you understood. That. I've, I've heard of it, yeah, but... Carol played, Carol played it once and hated it, but... Uh, yeah. It's too, like, that. it's too smart for me. It's too smart? Okay. Yeah. I, 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 for mine, I'd, senior study's definitely up there. That was a great time. But I'd probably say my number one was definitely football homecoming game we beat Weymouth. Oh. First win of the year. It was... Skin the Cats. Unmatched. Skin the Cats. Right two, at the end. We, 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 yes. We <laughs> All right. L- final thing. Any advice for the next group of seniors... Anything. What do you got for him, Sid? Sidars. All right. I have fun 
don't really worry about anything much. Sure, it's senior year, it's the year before college. You got to worry about applications and stuff. But you got to, you can't, you got to live in the moment, enjoy it. Don't worry about the future. We can cross that bridge when we get there. Just live in the moment, have fun. Don't worry about anything until you have to worry about something. Love it, Justin. What what do you got? In all honesty, like Sid said, you really have to bask in the glory of senior year because, like I said previously, it has been hands down my favorite year. And you just you can't take advantage of senior year because it's going to go by so fast. But you just really need to enjoy everything about senior year and everything that it will offer you. Darren? Uh, I would say, like, don't waste any opportunities that you get because, like, for us, we kind of... From our, some of our opportunities, we we're like, "Oh, we could do this in May," and like, but now we can't. So when you get when you get a chance to do something, do it, and because you never know what can happen. So do it then. You only live once. So yeah, just enjoy it. I gotta agree with the group. Don't take anything for granted. And this being the senior episode, signing off for the class of 2020. Peace out. Call me, Mr. BHS. <laughs> Peace out. We're excited to get to the song at the end of the episode dedicated to the Braintree class of 2020, but we're about to hear some more memories that some of the seniors have had in their last four years. <laughs> yeah, uh, Bridget, we actually share a pretty good memory. Uh, yeah. Thanks to Womp TV, we were in that uh, legendary uh, dark uh, Womp TV trip to DC, which happened uh, right before schools were closing. Yeah. Uh, we actually share the same last day of high school together, actually. I mean, that's we all, all of WAMP TV does. It's something yeah. we will definitely never forget. <laughs> yeah, because we left early to go to D.C., and then we had to leave D.C. early because we know the virus. Uh, <laughs> maybe not the happiest memory, but, you know, we made the best of it. We did. We did make the best of it. And we had, like, a really good, like, bonding experience time. Like, everybody there was, like, so much closer when we left, too. So it was still oh, fun. Man. All right, let's pass it off to some more uh, BHS Class 2020 students with some of their favorite memories from the past four years. All I've been able to do to keep myself content during quarantine is go on long walks. I don't go on walks just to listen to music and exercise. I also do it to notice the little things in nature I normally don't have the time to look at. When you look closely, you can see a lot of things you wouldn't have noticed before when you really do look. I feel like going on these walks teaches me a lot about appreciating the little things, not just in nature, but in life in general. Since I'm a senior now leaving BHS, and we're going through a global pandemic, I've become pretty reflective on the four years I spent there. At the time, I was counting the days until I could leave, but now I see that those times were meant to be appreciated. Sure, the homework was annoying, and the stress never seemed to end, but I got to make memories with the friends and teachers that I was blessed to meet. I'm saying these things to maybe teach others about the importance of reflecting on the little things in life, not just in nature, but things you've experienced. Not all times will be good times, obviously, but even in the bad times, there are things you can learn from and memories you can learn to cherish. Reporting live for Wompcast, this is Madeline Whalen. It's tough spending four years with the same 400 or so people and surprisingly getting to know basically every single one of them. Maybe not personally, but just knowing who, who they are, a little bit about them, and suddenly having to say goodbye without any closure. My favorite memory would definitely be the pep rallies because during the pep rallies, the whole school comes together and we just show how strong we are as one. My favorite memory of Braintree High would have to be when Miss Moynihan got pied. He missed the Flanagan and his fantastic jokes in uh, History Block, or History B Block. I think my favorite memory from school would just be being in the classroom with the preschoolers and getting to watch them graduate last year, which was a lot of fun. My favorite high school memory was junior prom. I loved getting dressed up with my friends and we all had a lot of fun. Pride Parade this year because it was something new and different and it was really fun at the end when Miss Monahan got hit with the pie in our face. Uh, my favorite high school memory has got to be uh, when we were making the Womp TV freshman orientation video and Mr. Nellis, instead of having me actually do any um, filming or anything, he had me put together his new desk chair. I remember when my brother was graduating. He had his cap and gown walking up that stage and I remember like going woo with my family and I was like I can't wait to hear that when I'm up on that stage with my cap and gown. But it's not gonna happen. <laughs> you know Bridget stinks. We have some altered graduation plans but you know what can you do? I mean our graduation won't be the same as it would have but I mean 
we have plenty of things to look forward to in the future, like college. And, you know, we're going to Suffolk together in the fall. Woo! Yeah, I was actually going to text you later on. What yeah. if we make sure our dorm rooms are right next to each other? We have all the same classes. We can walk together all the time, just so we never have to separate. I mean, one class is fine. I... Not sure about that. You know, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to text you after this. Um, okay. Let's go to Soph Chung, because she actually uh, got a lot of Class 2020 students to say their future plans. Yeah, let's hear it. Hi, my name is Allie, and I'll be attending the University of Connecticut in the fall, majoring in biomedical science on the pre-med track. It's been a crazy senior year, but at least it'll be one to remember. My name is Trevor MacDonald and I will be attending Northeastern University studying molecular and cellular biology on a pre-med track. Hey, I'm Bethany. I'm going to be attending LaSalle University in the fall. Go Womps! Hi, my name is Vinny Mealy. I'll be attending Norwich University and also joining Army ROTC this fall. Whoa. I'm Sabrina Kearns and I'm going to BC next year where I'll study finance. I'm heading off to Bridgewater State University. Go Bears! I'll be heading to the Connecticut School of Broadcasting while doing construction on the side. My name is Kaylee Walsh. I'm going to Curry College in the future, and I'll be majoring in communications with a concentration in digital video and television. Hi, I'm going to Assumption in the fall, and I cannot wait to be a Greyhound. I'm going to Wentworth. I'm going to play soccer and study cybersecurity. Hi, my name is Brian, and my future plans are to go into a trade school. I'm Kira Bulger, and I'm going to Bridgewater State University to major in early childhood education. Aiden Daly, St. Anselm College. Hi, my name is Jessica Risha. I will be attending Emanuel College and majoring in biology. I'm Chris Tutton, and I'm going to Tufts University. Go both. Hi, I'm Paulina Reardon, and I'm going to Bridgewater State University for elementary education. Hi, I'm Catherine Martin, and I'm going to the University of Connecticut. Hello, my name is Ishmael Amar, and next year I'll be attending UMass Boston studying biology on the pre-med track. Hi, I'm Riley Ridge, and next year I'll be attending UMass Boston for nursing. Hi, I'm Tucker Doty, and I will be attending Nichols College, where I will be playing baseball and studying business. I'm Bridget Hines, and I'm going to Suffolk University. Hey guys, I'm going to Pace University in the fall, and I'm going to be majoring in psychology. John Daly, St. Anselm College. Hi, my name is Alyssa Mel, and I'll be attending UMass Amherst in the fall to study biology. I'm Erin, and I will be attending Mass College of Art and Design, where I will be majoring in fine arts. In the fall, I'm going to be taking my talents to the Connecticut School of Broadcasting over in Newton. Hey, I'm Evilo, and I'll be majoring in communications at Emanuel College next year. Go Saints! I will be studying mathematics and Spanish at Tufts University this fall. I'm Caitlin O'Rourke. I will be attending Southern New Hampshire University, running on their cross-country and track team with an undecided major. Hi, it's Zane Siddiqui. I'm going to Wentworth Institute of Technology, majoring in computer engineering. Go Wops! Hi, my name is William Lang, and I will be going to Wentworth next year, and I will be studying mechanical engineering. My name is Keely Hannigan, and I'm going to Stonehill College. I'm going to Carleton. Hi, I'm Sid, and I'm planning on joining the United States Army after I finish high school, after I get a degree. Hey guys, I'm headed to the University of Maine at Farmington in the fall. Hi, I'm Kat Rowell, and I will be going to UNH next year. Hi, I'm Ryan McCarns. I'm going to Boston College next year in the Carroll School of Management. Hello, I am James Daly. I'll be attending St. Anselm College. Roll Womps. I'm Caitlin Arsenault, and I'm going to be going to UMass Amherst. I'll be doing the two-year transfer from Massasoit to Bridgewater for early childhood education. Hi, I'm Kenny, and I will be attending UMass Amherst in the fall 2020 to be studying civil engineering. Hi, I'm Bridget Bugnato, and I'll be attending Quinnipiac University. I'm Caroline Grieve, and I'm going to Keene State next year. I'm Molly McCarthy. I will be attending Pullman State University next year as a health science major. I'm Sophia Caramita. I'll be going to Emerson College next year as a media arts production major. Hi, I'm Justin Carroll, and after high school, I plan on being a comedian. Keene State College. I haven't officially decided where I'm going yet, but I'm planning on going to Connecticut College to study sociology. I'm going to Suffolk University, undecided. 
I'm also going to Suffolk University. I major in communications. Hi, my name is Rebecca Duong and I'll be going to UMass Amherst in the fall to study biology. I just wanted to congratulate the class of 2020 and hopefully I'll see you guys at graduation. In a time where we have to be apart, it's hard to recognize seniors for what they've accomplished and what they'll go on to do. To the seniors who helped to come together to make this video, thank you. I'm so proud to have made it this far with you. Good luck, go Womps, and reporting for Womp TV for the last time, this is Sophia Chung. You know, Bridget, it was a weird hearing So Chung say signing off for the last time. Uh, yeah. because I didn't think about this, that we are signing off for the last time now. I mean, it is kind of emotional. Like, this program has, like, I've been in this program for four whole years now, and, like, I'm going into this major, so it's really emotional to just think about, like, everything I've had the last four years. Yeah, I mean, pretty much all of my major and crucial uh, good and stressful memories in high school were pretty much in WOM TV. Uh, yeah. So it's definitely... It's strange to say goodbye to that crew and say say goodbye to that mixture of uh, happiness, stress, and uh, just excitement. It was a very exciting thing to be part of. Um, I can't wait to see who joins it next year. Come back, look at the YouTube, check everybody else out, like the whole new crew. It's going to be weird. I, this is a good time to say to anyone watching it, uh, you should join WOMP TV mm -hmm. because it's the best experience yeah. BHS can give you. BHS has a lot of good experiences. I'll always love that high school. but. Uh, Womp TV is a very special thing to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I agree. Yeah. All right. We're at the end of the show, Bridget. I think it's time to uh, finally go to Sophia Caramita's original song dedicated to Class 2020. It's been a weird year. Uh, it's definitely been a weird, strange uh, few months, but hopefully the song can uh, bring us some light spirits and some yeah. kind energy. Yeah. Let's hear it. Hi. Um, one thing about me is that I love to write. I use writing as a way to help communicate how I feel about certain things. So I wrote a song for the class of 2020. Um, all this stuff is so crazy and it's not really too fun to be a senior right now. Um, I'm not the best singer in the entire world, so I'm completely aware, but I hope you can still Enjoy the song anyway. Thank you so much for listening and congratulations to the class of 2020. I hope everyone is safe and I hope everyone is proud because we made it. Okay, this is officially the end of the senior episode of WOMP TV this year. Congrats to all of the 2020 Braintree seniors. I mean, we're trying to make the best of it. Yeah, we really did. You know, it's been a weird time at home, doing all of our homework alone. Uh, some people taking exams alone at home. Uh, we're the first ones to do it. And in my opinion, I feel like we all did well. We succeeded. And uh, yeah, like you said, we made it the best we could. Yeah, exactly. Um, make sure to follow WOMP TV on Instagram at WOMP TV, our Twitter, our TikTok, and obviously subscribe to the YouTube because we will be back in the fall of 2020. Yeah, excited to see the new crew next year. I know. Thanks, everybody. Signing off, this is Colin Doherty. And Bridget Hines. Mom TV.